Andrew, I think he's prepared to be out here a while. So we had this idea to create an ice racing track on the lake out here. But in order to do that, we're gonna have to move a whole lot of snow and create a course. We don't really have the uh, right equipment to do so. <laughs> Where's your cab at? Dude, Ken, you are so fucking lucky you have that cab. It sucks dick. Ken, yours is way better than mine. I think it's driving. Are, are you saying that because you don't have a heated cab? Ben no, I'm just not want to do this. I heard Ben saying that this is the dumbest idea he's ever heard of. You're right, I said that actually word for word. I think you guys will be able to get this done in four hours. Maybe. And if you need me to switch, I can. We'll get it done by sundown. Ken's ready to be in that thing all day. He brought snacks. Hey! <laughs> I think you and Ken can start a snow removal service. You two look kind of cute together. What? Me and Ken? Yeah. Like Ken will be the boss and you'd be like the sidekick. I legit can't think of many things worse that I would rather never do in my life. <laughs> After a couple of years, you can work your way up and get yourself an enclosed cat too. <laughs> Let's go see how far Mike has made it. I just dude. stabbed myself for the 19th time. Looks pretty good. Yeah, dude. So again, we were like, it's all trial and error. We're trying to like figure out what studs are best for this. These are obviously the stock wheels, so it's gonna look pretty goofy. But yeah, they're just tiny little, tiny little things. I know people have ice raced like rally cars, but like this is gonna be pretty cool. No one's ever right. took like a wide body slap, yeah, wide slap body. on their X out there. Yeah, no kidding. Dude, it's gonna look so funny with your narrow wheels. Yeah. On this car? It looks like when you get a stock F-150 and you get fender flares first instead of wheels. <laughs> Good fit me. Bad fit me. Dude, it looks ridiculous. I get that it has the fender flares on it, but I can't believe Subaru even let it leave the factory with like seven inch rims. I, I think it's ready though. Just go boogie over to the lake and see if they're done with the track. Mm -hmm. Ken's had a good day. Oh, warm, wearing a sweatshirt. Ben? Probably been a little chill. Wait, is he wearing a helmet? <laughs> You can never be too safe on a track or uh, lawnmower, you know? Yeah. He's like, no roll cage, I'm not risking it. Like, You're on a lake. <laughs> you must have really been getting into one out here if you had to put a helmet on. Yeah, no, I had it sideways around a couple corners where I just didn't feel safe. Right, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> right. <laughs> can you imagine? One yeah. last question. What? Is this, a, is this what I think it is? What you're drying in the snow? Yeah. It is? Yeah, can't you tell? All right, keep your foot on the brake. Watch out, Ben. Oh, that was perfect. If it's not breaking through right now, then we're good. If it dies, is there an insurance claim for falling through the ice? I don't know if it comes Never. doing stuff like this. Perfect, Mike. Nice. We really lost one stud. That just tells you right there, future those studs. Yeah, that's actually a good point, Tim. Actually, there's another one right there. Should I see if my car can make it no trailer? Hit it with some speed. Oh, oh you're good. Oh, no, you're good from here. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> a centimeter. It's 37 degrees out right now, so, the, yeah. so it's like softened up and warmed up a little bit. Dude, Ken's tires are actually kind of perfect for this. All right, we're on the ice. All right, Mike. Let's see if all this time studding was worth it. Oh, Ken! Oh! They just collide. Come on, Ken! Pepper, pepper! Oh, Ken! Ken, you kind of 
rammed her good. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Holy shit, he's driving the truck out here for this? It sounds like it's cracking. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. Like eight inches. What's that? Nice. You can see how thick it is. Why is it like that? Did someone pee right there? Dude, you could literally hear like the little tick, tick, tick of the studs coming off of there. Shoot, maybe I shouldn't have done that right like so soon. <laughs> it sounded, it looked amazing. It though. was super fun. All right, so this other channel called Side by Side Blogs posted this video on Instagram yesterday of an RS1 doing the donuts in place. <laughs> and uh, they challenged us. I think they call it like the Cyclone Challenge or something like yeah. that. And they, they based theirs off of uh, the miles per hour. They said like 97. No, I think they did rotations or RPM. something like that. How do you calculate that? All you do is you just spin it. You don't worry about it. You just go as fast as you possibly can. <laughs> Because then yeah. hitting one of the sides, I would have just been like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I was staring at you, and you started to like get blurry in my eyes. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening right now? <laughs> for real, I, I definitely thought you were gonna tip. Like, I was scared I just like, recording. Won't be tips for the video, but I just thought you were gonna. Yeah, I thought you were doing it on purpose. I was like, he's not letting up for nothing. Really? <laughs> no, I legit couldn't. That was uh, great. Did we one up them? I I didn't see the vi their video. For one second, I think we might have. It's gotta be fan voted. We'll I post that on Instagram. Head over to our Instagram. Let us know. The only way that could have been better is if it did tip and then I somehow got on the roof and then it kept spinning. <laughs> Uh, by the way, park it. And while you're trying to create a controlled environment, just like when we were talking about the jet ski last time, you know, it was as controlled as you guys could get while it was still a public area. Not to mention drifting and everything else. Just like everyone else I run into with the situation, I can't ignore it, so I'm gonna, 
ICA, I'll issue you a citation for careless operation. Um, it's the general driving careless operation. So that's like a road careless operation? Correct. All right. Whoa. All right, well, lay it on me. <laughs> you were person. driving your car when, we, when you came. Ken was out here driving Okay, too. now you're right. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. So did somebody call this in? No. I had a feeling you guys were doing it. A feeling? Hmm? That you guys were out here. On, on, see you on Instagram? On a Instagram, Wednesday wherever it was, yeah. Mm. The walk of shame. God damn it. Bro, this is like awkward as like so, he's trying to be nice and he's being nice, but yeah, Jesus, but this is just like so, this shit seems a little targeted to me. Dude, well, hey, who posted super this? targeted. I, I think we all did. I didn't know this was bad. I, I, I didn't mean, either. Well, I know exactly what you're saying. There's some things we come into going like, this is bad. What's the risk? And sometimes it's law enforcement, and sometimes it's it's like you know getting hurt. This there was just nothing. I didn't I, think of I, any of the rest. It crossed like, my mind my car <laughs> falling through the ice today. It did not cross my mind having <laughs> yeah, the DNR come guy. out here. Nice guy though. Nice guy. Just doing his job. We're doing our job. They just happen to collide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of unfortunate collab. <laughs> Alright so like a couple weeks ago we told you guys that we were gonna be doing some remodeling to the shop when we move these big shipping containers in. We have a crew of two guys working on this for the past week. And they've made some serious progress. <laughs> yeah. It's obviously not done, but it's this is uh, the bones to what's going to be the Fantasy Factory. Sea Boys TV edition. Yeah. <laughs> so this right here is going to be bathroom, because we need another bathroom with how many shits Ken takes a day? Dude, <laughs> Ken, Ken legit spends so much time in the bathroom where like it just doesn't make sense to have one toilet this anymore. This might have to be my bathroom because this is like the only office that Bro, actually Bro, Ken, this space. is going to be your office. He's got a desk in there, sits like, on the toilet all so day. So this will be a closet. Which I actually had no idea we were putting this in or that in until uh, so last, last night. Last and I must say it's a good addition. I'm not supposed to tell Michael, but this is actually his new bedroom. So. Yeah, dude, that would be... <laughs> dude, the stairs used to be on that wall. We moved the stairs to... Uh, this wall, widen them. So yeah, obviously this is like the new upstairs. We got three offices right here. This guy right here will be Ken's, I believe. Ken? Window. <laughs> Ryan's office. Don't walk off that. We extended out the walkway a couple feet. Micah's office. And then Micah's bedroom. You're gonna have a pretty long commute to work, Mike. Mm -hmm. The most important part of the entire renovation, a window. Right here. It's gonna let real light inside this room. Yeah, that's a pretty pretty big moment for Micah. He's been living uh, in windowless rooms for the past four years. I think you owe him a big thank you, man. Oh, thanks, thanks to these guys. guys. It you really is. Now. I have a window now. I, can't, I came a long way yeah, since man. we started. But yeah, we're thinking like right here, we'll probably do like some chairs. Obviously, there'll be railing along all this. These will be the typical chairs that nobody ever sits at, but they look cool. This is gonna be the waiting yeah. room to Ken's office. You can only talk to Ken if you make a Google appointment on yeah. the calendar. Just say you show up five minutes early, you wait right here. You walk across right here. This walkway, we actually raise about nine inches uh, because we had to build on top of the shipping container. And, a little uh, tight. We didn't know it was gonna be this tight. We lost some room to say the least. It's not a problem for me, as you can see. Short boy Anthem over there. Ken, on the other hand, is uh, having an issue with it. Right in here, this is my office. It's gonna be pretty sweet. We got the windows. This would be glass. Get to overlook. Look at Ryan, be like, hey Ryan, Thank you. Up here, we're gonna move this heater, get rid of it, but seating area, some couches, big TV on the wall. Be kind of sick. We're debating making this into like a little meeting room, maybe put like a table, like a conference room, but we were like, that that's too corporate for us we're gonna make it into like a like a little cinema room walk through this doorway right here into my office for some reason i got the biggest office which is like it doesn't seem like that big but think a desk is gonna go right there and i don't know what i'm gonna do with the rest of it i'm thinking about pulling that typical douchebag office move and getting a putting green <laughs> this is pretty sweet though i was standing up here last night looking out of the office and just seeing like all the toys like not gonna lie, uh, feels pretty good. Couldn't decide where to put the sign, and after we decided to build 
this thing out with the shipping containers, it made sense to finally hang the sign up right there. So that'll be dope. And then underneath here, we're gonna do some lighting, finish it off, and then this will be like the shop work bay area. With more cabinets and then more workbenches, we'll probably do some like flip up workbenches just so you can save on space. I think that's it for right now. We'll keep you guys up to date on the shop build. But otherwise, Mike, any other things you want to say? Possibly about your ticket? Man, dude, I mean, the ticket shouldn't be too steep, but head over to SeawaysTV.com, you know, just in case it is expensive. And if you want to catch our content as it's happening, maybe follow our Instagram. Don't forget to get entered to win the sled. That's still going. Every $5 spent gets you one entry. SeawaysTV.com. We will see you guys on Monday.